The stakes are high. In the November election, a record has already been set with the number of absentee ballots requested, 2.3 million and still counting. That's almost one third of registered voters. And while Michigan doesn't technically have early voting, you can vote starting Thursday at your local clerk's office. Jim Kurtzner is live in Oakland County and Waterford Township with everything you need to know and breaking it all down for us. Jim. Yeah, this record certainly because of all of the hot races on the ballot from the president on down and also because of COVID-19 safety concerns. We're on track to have record number of people voting, record number of people voting by mail. Uh, and of course, in the midst of this pandemic, we want to keep everyone safe and healthy and spread out. As of yesterday, the number of absentee ballots requested 2.39 million. That's with 7.7 .7 million registered voters statewide. Staffing and training are monumental. We've recruited a close to 20,000 new election workers this year to help staff our precincts as well as our clerk's offices. In fact, the state is providing 6,000 staffers just to Detroit. During the August primary, absentee ballot counts were often 72% of the precincts. Last month, the city clerk surveyed potential satellite offices where voters can register, get absentee ballots, and return them. In Detroit, 21 of these will not be open until October the 5th, with the state and Detroit City employees from other departments staffing them. Well, we wanted to open them sooner, but it, it, it comes down to recruiting the number of people and also it's 21 offices. It's an extraordinary number. Across the state, you can start voting Thursday at your local clerk's office. Statewide, many will be opening satellite offices. One of those opened in Ann Arbor today for University of Michigan students to register now and vote later. If you want to mail in your ballot, it's recommended you do so by October the 19th. A ballot can still be counted with a postmark up to November the 2nd. Voter confidence is also a major issue with officials handling this record turnout. The biggest challenge of all is simply that, ensuring that citizens know all the work we're doing to secure their vote and have the confidence that regardless of who they vote for, their vote will be counted accurately. By law, these absentee ballots cannot be counted until Election Day. The Secretary of State's been pushing to change that because this could certainly lead to some delays, but that issue is still pending with the legislature up in Lansing. Live in Oakland County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. With a big election year, everyone wants to make sure they get it right. All right, Jim, thank you. And we are dedicated to preparing you for Election Day. Be sure to visit WXYZ.com slash vote 2020. It's a resource guide with everything you need to know before heading to the polls, including links to sample ballot and absentee ballot request forms.